Hi, I'd like to welcome you all to participate in a five-day retreat we are doing here at KMC New York in the middle of November on the four seals. People often ask me, well, what are the four seals? And they think it's something they find in sea world, marine world, something like that. And it's not that sort of seal. Four seals, the seals are truths. Four truths that characterize a life, that characterize everything we care about. Our relationships, our um, jobs, our hopes, our fears, everything. These are characterized by the four seals, these four truths. What are they? First is impermanence, subtle impermanence, which is the gateway to emptiness. Secondly, we need to understand all contaminated things are the nature of suffering. Thirdly, everything is empty and selfless. And fourthly, only Nirvana is peace. These are the four seals, these four truths. Just believing in them leads us towards liberation. How are we using them during this retreat? There's different ways we can we can use the four seals. We can use them just to, to meditate on them as our main practice. But the way we're going to be focusing on them is um, a, a way, a method that Geshe-la taught a number of years ago, where we use them to calm our mind before we meditate. Often when we meditate, even if it's on a very beautiful, captivating um, object of meditation, as we will be, like the, the nature of our mind, our mind is very rebellious. It gets bored meditating. It wants to think of something exciting and interesting like the TV program it watched the other night or an interesting conversation or a creative idea. Our mind wants to wander towards objects of attachment. This we call mental excitement. It's one of the main obstacles to meditation practice. And geshe -la taught how we can use meditation on these four seals to overcome our attachment at the beginning of our meditation. After contemplating on one or two of these four seals, we go on to do our meditation, which in this case will be on the nature of the mind. Our meditation will be a lot more focused. So this is what we will be doing. I would like to say now a, a little bit about, well, the nature of the mind and retreat. The main object of meditation during this retreat will be the nature of the mind. We're going, not, not this mind, not, not our con, um, conceptual mind, not our brains. Um, we're going to be meditating on our root mind located in our heart chakra. It's the gateway to our liberation and enlightenment. This is where the journey needs to go inwards into our heart realizing the nature of our mind through doing this we go to deeper and deeper levels of, of peace and compassion and and wisdom so it's going to be a, a wonderful retreat in that way but it's going to be a very special retreat we are assembling all the perfect conditions to enable us to go deep into retreat. Retreat is a journey. It's not just coming to a temple and sitting down and doing some meditation and then going back out and behaving normally and coming back in and doing another session. It's not like that. The whole time here is going to be your retreat. We are going to be having total silence from Sunday onwards. And in that silence, that's like going deeply into this deep, refreshing pool of nectar where your mind will mix with the nature of your mind with these four truths at a very deep level. As your concentration deepens, the nature of concentration is to reduce the gap between our mind and its object. Initially, um, when we meditate, 
the, the object is, is like over here, but through our concentration, it comes closer and closer until eventually it becomes one. This retreat is going to be a really special retreat. I hope you can come and either um, join here or participate via live stream. Look forward to seeing you then.